All right, I thought I would give a quick overview of my battery installation and upgrade. I went with four Battleborn 100 amp hour lithium batteries. They're wired in parallel. Positive comes off of the battery closest to the wall. It's kind of a rat's nest, but first it goes to a fuse, then up to the disconnect, and then off of the disconnect, um, off of the fuse, is the disconnect as well as a circuit breaker which then feeds my Xantrex 1000 watt inverter. So that's working pretty well. Shows me battery voltage, shows me usage. On the negative side, I come off of the most distant battery and that goes up to my Victron shunt with my battery monitor and Bluetooth connector connected to it. I haven't ran this to its actual cabinet yet, but the Bluetooth has given me everything from my phone that I need, so I actually don't know that I'm going to. Off of the shunt, I come to the house connection, which I just reused everything that was there. It's tucked back in there. Also off, off of the side of the shunt is the other side of the uh, inverter. So I've got a little bit of cleanup to do with wiring with whatnot, tidy up the wiring. As you can see things are hanging loose and I'd like to get that stuff cleaned up. I ultimately want to run both the display for the battery monitor and a remote panel for the inverter up into a cabinet up in the front of the room but I first have to empty my basement and crawl in and hook up battery and hook it up through the wall and all that fun stuff so I'm avoiding hard work but it really dropping these in was was pretty easy I had a single battery initially it was covered by a plate on the front part and then you can see here that I had to cut the floor so I can add, open up access to the rest of my battery box. The cover is pretty simple. It just sets down in place. I used a couple of uh, just flat plates so that it doesn't fall down behind. And that's about it. It all doesn't sit down nicely right now because I need to tidy up the cables and maybe even lift this up a little bit. I gotta figure that part out to get it a little bit more tidy. But uh, that's it, the Battleborn batteries, they're uh, direct 12 volt drop-ins. The whole system upgrade gives me 400 amp hours, a little over 300 usable amp hours of battery power. I ran the fridge for five days and other parasitic loads on the camper while it was in storage. Used about 196 amp hours. It was kind of nice to come back to a fridge full of cold food and a freezer full of frozen food. We have two weeks coming up for the balloon festival where we will be boondocking and dry camping. And uh, it's going to be a true test for my family, for the system, and everything I've done. So, thanks for watching, and that's about it.